Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about histamine intolerance and oxalate sensitivity. So I get asked this a lot. Um, you know, it's basically if you have done a low histamine diet and you still are having issues, some people may be sensitive to oxalates. So oxalates are a naturally occurring molecule found in plants and humans, and their main role is to dispose of extra calcium in plant foods. So that's why plant foods are very high in oxalates. So, um, you know, one of the biggest issues that oxalate uh, sensitivities can lead to is kidney stones because of the calcium. But there's a lot of other issues. And one of the biggest drivers of this intolerance to these high oxalate foods is the health of your gut. Because we have bacteria in our gut that are meant to break down oxalates, but you know, a lot of times due to stress or vitamin deficiencies or antibiotic use, that bacteria is not there in, you know, the right amount or it's, it's, you know, not there at all. So, and I see this a lot with yeast overgrowth. I really see a big connection between yeast overgrowth and oxalate sensitivity. So, um, because of that, you can have issues with eating these foods, which I'll go over in a minute, but some of the issues can be chronic pain, um, joint infl you know, joint and, and muscle inflammation and pain, fibromyalgia, interstitial cystitis, kidney stones, which we already talked about, um, headaches and migraines, believe it or not, um, allergies, candida, which we talked about, is that, that yeast overgrowth. I see that, like I said, I see those two together a lot. Um, other digestive issues, insomnia, and the list goes on. So let's talk about some high oxalate foods. So berries, which strawberries are high in histamine anyway, but there are, you know, other berries can be high in oxalates. So kiwis, figs, um, purple grapes, potatoes, rhubarb, okra, beets, spinach. I'm not going to read this entire list because I've written this whole article on this and it lists all of it. So, um, but what happens is, is when you have this oxalate sensitivity, it can actually drive more histamine intolerance. So I don't have to do this a lot with many of my patients. I don't want you guys to get discouraged. Usually a low histamine diet and then getting to the root of the issue is enough. Um, but sometimes you do have to reduce these foods for a little while. And usually it can be resolved by working on the gut. And like I said, a lot of the time when I see people who do have oxalate sensitivities, it is tied to a yeast overgrowth in the gut. So I hope that helps. So go ahead and read the article for a lot more information. And thank you for watching.